This has been a moment of fear and anger and tears and fury. It is crippling to be this angry and this infuriated by the lack of action by people who hold all the power. But you must motivate yourselves and take all that fury and channel it to the next election. Everything changes when we change who is in power. Everything changes when we have people who will stand with us. Okay, so that's Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. She is, you know, she's angry about what's happening. She is echoing what a lot of people who have not been in a position of power for literally years to change this law feel. And that's good. And that will change nothing by itself. Let's be clear about that. But we want our elected officials to be fired up. So so what are they gonna do? I mean, what is the Senate gonna act? Well, I don't know. Let's go to do we have a shot of the Senate? Under the previous order, the Senate stands adjourned until 11 a.m. on Tuesday, May 31, 2022. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing really going on, no crises or whatever. They just have Angus King hanging out by himself in an empty Senate as if our country isn't being hit by multiple crises simultaneously. And I want to go to a tweet. Jonathan Larson of TYT sent out this tweet. I thought it was just so appropriate. He said, I don't think congressional Democrats understand that voters see them as the cops standing around outside the school. And I don't think I have ever seen a better metaphor, not just for this issue, the fact that they're not, we'll see. We're gonna talk about what might be done in terms of gun control. But for so many issues, Farron, that they are effectively, they've been brought in to do a job and they're basically just standing around and watching disaster strike. I think it's such a perfect analogy too, because those cops that were just standing around doing nothing were also, well, we need we need more of us. You know, we we can't go in there because there's just there's not enough of us. And just like with Gillibrand right there, like this is horrible. We're angry. We're pissed off. So make sure you vote Democrat in November so that we can have more of us. Otherwise, we can't do anything. And then it's on you, I guess, at this point, voters. No, we we have had Democratic majorities in the past. During times of, of tragedy like this, nothing ever gets done. We move from one tragedy to the next. I mean, a week ago, we, we've already moved on from that tragedy that I guess, you yep. know, as of Sunday, it will be two weeks ago. We, we've already moved on from that, from the manifesto, from all of the, the great replacement theory that these racists are pushing out. Now it's on to the fact that we've got dead kids to deal with. And I guarantee you the Senate is hoping that when they come back from their extended recess of having barbecues and fundraisers, they're hoping everybody will have moved on. Maybe something else, maybe they're gonna be pissed about baby formula again and move away from the fact that we have parents burying their children today. That's what they're hoping. They want everything to die down because they know nothing's gonna change. You know. Kirsten Cinema says she's holding some talks with Republicans. Mitch McConnell has, you know, signaled whatever that means that maybe he's willing to do something. Nobody's going to do anything. And I, I think we all know that. And we just have to be honest. It's not a numbers issue per se, because they've had the numbers. They've had plenty of numbers in the past. They continue to do nothing about this. And it it is maddening, as Gillibrand says, but it's maddening for us to watch you do absolutely nothing time and time again. Over over and over again. And look, Farron, you're only saying that nothing is gonna happen because you've been paying attention to American politics for years. <laughs> Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the damage report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.